what's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is your host Mark and today I'm very excited to share to you some details about the land NFT presale of Aperon. But before we get into the details, I'm gonna share first why I'm very bullish on this. If you aren't familiar with Aperon, this project already have $25 million in funding which is largest in the GameFi history. They've been developing the game for 6 years and with the recent integration of blockchain, this will be the first GAD game to run on blockchain. And this game is scheduled to launch this Q4 of 2022. Alright, the game hasn't launched yet. Then why am I still bullish? Cause I love its community. They have a solid community which is very active and engaging. On top of that, with just the anticipation of the game, it already have 658 in volume and that's hard to get for a GameFi building on a bear market. Another thing is that they already launched their own marketplace. Well, I can go on and on and on but just do your due diligence and see for yourself. Let's get into the main topic of this video. The land NFT of Aperon are cold stars. Well, since the main NFTs are planets, it's just logical that their land would be stars wherein those planets can orbit. But why would I buy another land NFT right now? Most games doesn't have any in-game utility for their lands until they build the land gameplay which usually takes years. I'd say that's another reason why I'm excited on this. Upon launch, you'll already have in-game perks for having a star. Each star have number of orbital tracks. You can take one of your planets and park it in one of the empty tracks and it will start to receive an aging boost for the star. Aging faster will help the planet to unlock more relic slots, which can be used to insert relic NFTs into the planet, allowing you to power up your planet. In short, older planets can yield more power. The number of orbital tracks and aging buffs will depend on the tier of the star. There are 11 star rarity tiers and the higher the rarity, the more orbital tracks and the better the aging box. Alright, I only have few planets. What can I do with the other empty orbital tracks? Well, you can rent out your empty tracks to other players to receive rents accordingly. An easy form of passive income. Aside from helping to passively boost your planets, stars also serves as foundation of all alliances. Alliances start with the base cap of 10 members, but each star will increase your alliance member cap by an additional of 10. Only alliance or guild opens up an opportunity for you to join forces with other players to tackle end game contents like world bosses and high level esports events. This will also allow you to join guild versus guild battles in which hundreds of other godlings fight. And Aperon's premium token regularity can only be gained through these alliance game modes. Each stars are part of different constellations. Constellations can either be major or minor, with major containing more stars of generally higher rarity but better bonuses while minor constellations are less stars of lower rarity. If your alliance manages to own all the stars from a single constellation, you'll be able to activate a number of powerful Sojak buffs which will give passive benefits for your planets, like constellation buff. Then, your alliance member caps will be expanded significantly depending on the completed constellation that make up your alliance. And your star will also receive huge boost in its orbital track numbers based on which constellation it's in. Enough of the reasons why I'm excited to get a hand of these stars. Let's move on how to get star NFT. There will be a total of only 11,498 stars in the Aperon Godiverse. Players may purchase stars via Stella Tabula Chest among four different rarities, Regular, Celestial, Empyrean, and Omega. With higher tiers of chests containing higher rarities of stars and astronomicals, astronomical NFTs are special customization objects that orbit your star and provide additional passive bonuses. Astronomicals could be asteroids, comets, supernovas, or even suns. Asteroids, comets, and supernovas give additional orbital tracks, while sun gives additional aging buff. Each Stella Tabula chest will contain one guaranteed star NFT, 
and then a certain number of astronomical NFTs depending on the chest tier. In a few weeks, there will be 473 stars available on the star presale. Users will be able to purchase Stella Tabula chests among the regular, celestial, and Empyrean chests. There will be 207 regular Stella Tabula chests available for purchase at 0.66 ETH each. This chest will give you one tier 10 or 11 star and one tier 1 to 3 astronomical NFT. For Celestial Stella Tabula chest, there will be 204 chests available at 1.8 ETH each, which will give you one tier 7 to 9 star with two tier 1 to 3 astronomical NFT. Lastly, there will be 62 Empyrean chests available for purchase at 5 ETH each. This contain one tier 4 to 6 star. 4 tier 2 to 3 astronomical NFTs and a small chance to have special celestial object. Like the previous presale, there will be whitelist access before it opens for the public. There will be a VID or very important dude whitelist and just the regular whitelist. Those on the VID whitelist can purchase up to 2 Stella Tabula chests and will get first access to the planet presale ahead of everyone else. While those on the whitelist can purchase one Stella Tabula chest and will gain access to the pre-sale one hour after the pre-sale is available to those on the VID whitelist. There's only one way to get on the VID whitelist. You need to own 11 unique Origin Collection Apostle NFTs. That's it. You will be eligible to fill out a form and claim your spot. For regular whitelist, you'll need to earn marks on the Discord server. You can also win a whitelist slot with the events there. And the easiest route again is to own 8 unique Origin Apostle NFTs. In case you weren't able to purchase a star since it's a very limited pre-sale, you can still acquire stars. Stella Tabula Chess will be available after pre-sale for planet holders by staking their planets on Nebula Expeditions. In fact, the highest tier of chess, which is Omega Stella Tabula Chess, will only be available as rewards in the Nebula Expedition. That's it for today guys! I just wanted to give you a brief but essential information about the upcoming Star Presale. So if you want to learn more or join the presale, I'll put down the link below for more information. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.